All right, thank you for taking care of the goats. A couple of things to note over here, we have the food storage. And it's super important that this stays closed because otherwise the goats will get in there and they can eat themselves to death. So in here we have two different types of things. We have the orchard grass. They don't really seem to like that very much. Um, over here we have the alfalfa and this is generally what they eat. We also have over here the goat treats. You don't have to worry about the minerals, but we have the goat treats here. So, um, you know, start off with letting them out. And you can see in here that in the morning their, um, their bed is covered in poop. Uh, they're nice solid nuggets, so you don't have to, it's not gross. Um, you just sweep it off. And over here we have the broom and then we have a little rake. So you're gonna sweep it off and then you're gonna kind of take the rake and just uh, mix it into the into the bedding here on the floor. It's called bedding, not because um, they sleep on it, but because, I don't know, it just kind of absorbs the urine and the, and the poop. Um, <clears throat> so you're gonna sweep that off and uh, it's super simple, just with the broom. And then, like I said, you just kind of rake it into the floor here. Um, you can see in here that we have, um, there's still, looks like there's still food, but they don't really eat this stuff. This is just mostly um, just, yeah, stuff that they won't eat. So um, I would say every day, uh, just kind of clear it out and you can dump it on the floor and then use the rake to kind of mix it in. But then that way, we don't get tricked into believing that they're fed when they're actually really, really hungry. So, um, I think most of the stuff they're not gonna eat. So I'm gonna toss that onto the floor. And then <clears throat> what you do is after you do that, you're gonna, um, you're gonna take a flake of the alfalfa in here. And the alfalfa, as I mentioned, is the one on the left. And the top bale is almost done. It should last a couple more days here, but generally <clears throat> when you pull it apart, um, a flake is gonna look kind of a, like that. It's kind of like a handful. You pull it off and it comes off in a, in a big clump like this. And then basically you're gonna just break it in half and um, put that into the feeder. And then that's pretty much all that you need to do. Um, their water, you should dump it out and rinse it out. Um, with the hose outside and then just fill it up so that way it's nice and clean um, like it looks like there's something in there I don't know what that is but uh, it's a good idea to rinse it out and um, refill it every day I kind of fill it up to that line you can see that line in there and that's about it at nighttime uh, you just do the same routine you're not gonna have to sweep off the bed but you're gonna want to clean out the feeder and then put in new uh, new hay and uh, you probably don't have to do the water if they won't come in they should come in no problem but if they won't come in uh, get them some goat treats they love that stuff just um, if they try to jump on you just kind of push them to the side and push them down 